start with breaking news right now. Two people are dead after a deputy involved shooting. Good evening. I'm Felicia Rodriguez. I'm Todd McDermott. Thanks for joining us tonight. Ari Height live at the crime scene with Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. Ari. Now we just got a little bit of more details from Sheriff Bradshaw about one minute ago. He says, like you said, two people killed here. There was one other person in surgery. The two deputies who were involved in this, two deputies that were involved in this, neither one of them was hurt. Let's go right now to Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. He has all the details as to what happened. Sheriff? Okay, here's what we know right now from all the information that we've gathered up to this point. About 8:17 tonight, we got a call of an assault in progress. Two responding deputies arrived at the scene. When they arrived at the scene, the first deputy went up into the driveway area and saw a Hispanic male laying on the ground in a large pool of blood. And a second Hispanic male, about, uh, I'd say, 25 feet away from him, pacing up and down the driveway with a large machete in his hand. Looks like it's about 18 to 24 inches. The second deputy was instructed to go get a less than lethal weapon, which is our 40 millimeter stun gun, to see if, you know, we can use that on him. While she was retrieving that weapon, the deputy repeatedly was telling the, the suspect, put the knife down, put the knife down, put the knife down. He turned, raised the knife, and charged towards the deputy who was standing over the gentleman that was on the ground protecting him to see if he was still alive, at which time when the suspect charged him, he discharged his firearm and the suspect fell in the yard. Right now, we have one that is deceased, which was the victim that was killed by the suspect with the machete. The suspect himself is deceased, and there is a Hispanic female in the hospital with several cuts on her that she's in surgery right now. So basically what had happened is the Hispanic male that had the machete killed the guy that was on the ground, cut the woman severely who's in the hospital, and the responding deputy took the action that was necessary to save his own life when the guy charged him. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, we'll be able to give you the identities on the, the, the people that are deceased and the woman in the hospital probably within the next uh, hour, we hope, after we do the necessary notifications. That's where we stand right now. There's no injuries to the deputies. Any idea whatsoever what led to that argument to begin with? That's part of the, of the investigation right now. We know that the one Hispanic male is the neighbor across the street and the two that are in the, uh, the one that's in the yard is a boyfriend of the uh, woman that's in the hospital. So there's a lot more that's going to unfold here. That's what we have right at this point in time, and there'll be more details released at a later date. But uh, at this point in time, two dead, one in the hospital. Can you describe the actions again the deputy took to protect himself? Well, the first thing he did was he stood over the body because he didn't know if the guy was dead for sure or not. We know it was a large pool of blood. But then the guy with the machete didn't put it down, actually turned, raised it in the air, and charged towards the deputy. That's when he discharged his firearm uh, to neutralize that threat to him. How many shots were fired? Don't know that yet. That's still under investigation. So that's what we have right now. We'll be getting back to you with more. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much, Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. One more update I want to give you that one woman who is currently in surgery. The sheriff tells me she is expected to survive. That is the very latest reporting live from suburban West Palm Beach. Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.